Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNM. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great week, folks. It's going to be a big week in the market, man. Surrender. Let go of the past. Always do your best. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself fully to be alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 14, NASDAQ, uh, no, at Dow Industrials down 14, NASDAQ up 2, SPs down 13 and a half. Gold, gold contract trading down uh, $8.10, 2041 an ounce. We have silver down 45 cents, twenty-two dollars seventy-three cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck twenty-one, seventy-seven dollars seventy cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down eight ticks, trading one hundred nine twenty. The thirty-year down thirteen at one eighteen point twenty-one. And king dollar, king dollar is trading down one hundred and twenty-three ticks at one hundred three eight thirteen. Euro one hundred eight, yen one fifty, British pound one twenty-six to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. One that's going on in your world. Now, the world of the S&Ps, we have no sellers, folks. Check this out, man. <laughs> this is pretty wild. There's no doubt, man. So, you know, you, you go back to last Thursday. Market breaks top side, breaks its highs. Friday, sideways move. Goes to a high, high. Can't hold price. Now, the spy's down a buck. Big deal, right? But your contrast is that you're only 31 million shares. So there's no sellers here, man. And the, you're going against the Thursday bar, which is uh, 76 million versus 31 million. And you saw exactly what happened when we were going against the Wednesday bar when I was on, because the volume was also tepid there. And then, boom, hits it, explodes topside. Now, here's the divergence. The divergence does come in the queues. Because what ends up happening in the queues, you don't know when you're looking at this, well, was it try to go to a high or try to go to a low because it was a sideways day. 26 million shares traded. You're still going into 62 million, 61, 50, oh, sorry, 52 million versus 26, you know. So my take is that higher, we're still going, you know. We'll see how this shakes out because there's no doubt that the way this has set up, um, we're stretching it, man. We're stretching it. There's no doubt about it. You know, you take a look at this. The first warning was generated at that uh, in January, the middle of January, coming down on volume. We go up again. The second one was February. And these do come in threes, folks, okay? And so, you know, it looks to me like first it's going to go higher, then we're going to go lower. Probably be one more push higher, and then we're going to have a decent correction. We go take a look. I'm going to go to the dollar next because the dollar, it is, it's what it's all about. But dollar notes and bonds, that's what it is. We'll pull the notes and bonds up too. So the dollar has been trying to get into this lower range. And every time it comes down to it, it rejects it. Last Thursday, it came down hard. But guess what? Just as hard, it rejected 103. Now, 103. 102.684. So in order for that market to go higher, we came right down to, you know, where it would get inside the lower range and rejected it once again. Now, notes and bonds, this is really intriguing, man. And, okay, so the note and bond market out here You know, we did, this is amazing, actually. I see, though, actually, we got a higher high. I'll deal with that. Okay, okay. So we had 4.9 million contracts so far, which is, like, I don't think I've ever seen, folks. I'm sure it's been out there, but I just forget seeing 4 million contracts. So you got to a higher high. You're back in. So the, the market is still choppy here, for sure. My, my take is that, let me go look at the 30 at first and then the TLT. 
So my take is that this correction and the note and bond market is over. So let's say USA, but let me go through the 30 also. So if you take a look at the 30, 30 is 941,000. That's a big number also. Okay, that's a big number too. And then let's go to the TLT. Take a look at the TLT. <laughs> look at that. So that's backing down with light volume. So, you know, when I when I look at this, the the note and bonds, they all look to me like they want higher price, including the TLT. Let's go back to the ten year again. This is a lot of buying, man. Now, see, this is where price and volume get, uh, how would you say it? It's, this is, it's more art than a science, okay? And what it is here is this. When you go this, when you get this many contracts, right, and it went higher, and then all of a sudden it doesn't break the low, that is actually a bullish occurrence. Because what's happening is that we always know for every seller is a buyer, a buyer is a seller, okay? So the bottom line is that they were buying this thing out here today. And someone was selling it like crazy too, though. <laughs> that's, that's the reality. Um, hey, we'll see where it shakes out, you know? And I believe, let's see, as to the CPI, the CPI is the Wednesday. That's at 8.30 in the morning. So Wednesday is going to be the number um, that you're going to, we're going to have some movement for sure. Because the Fed's waiting for the CPI, the market's waiting for the CPI. Yeah, we get everything. You get, so you get the wholesale inventories, the retail inventories. This is on, this is on uh, Wednesday at 8.30. Then Thursday we get yeah, Thursday's a big one, because for Thursday's the PCE core deflator, and that, that's the one that the Fed absolutely loves. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes.